welcome back guys and we are back to our test token number one so as we created in our last video the contract with our DX Mint we are now going to make a preset with this test token so we still have our test token open this is our contract we were the owner and we still hold all the tokens so we created the DX Mint contract and we can actually go to manage contract where we can select our test token number one and we see all the information we need the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start or manage our sale. So we open the disclaimer. I'm just going to go through for you because uh, there are many questions coming up because people don't like to read it. And yeah, so we're just going to go through it. Maybe you want to skip it, but it will be like one minute. So I've tested my token with the Excel app on the test network like we are right doing now on the Robson test network. It's for free, so just use it. It's, it's easier for you. It's easier for everybody. No questions will come up. It's super easy, super free. It just will take you like half an hour of your life. Then my token has a function to disable special transfers or has no special transfers. We have special transfers like liquidity and a tax fee, but we have a function to disable them. We can actually disable the fees. And we can exclude addresses from the fees. So we are ready for that. Then the next thing is my token is not already listed on Uniswap and I have not given out any tokens to users. This is actually a security reason because as soon as someone has tokens, they can actually add liquidity to Uniswap, PancakeSwap, HoneySwap, SushiSwap, whatever they have. And they can clearly your preset because if you already set the price, we are not able to set the price again. This is actually what our pre-sale does. It's setting the price and adding the liquidity. So make sure you don't distribute your tokens before ending the finalize, ending the present. You can actually make private sales, airdrops, whatever, but just send them out after finalize. It's way easier and nobody will give uh, nobody can do anything with the tokens before the end anyway. So I understand that tokens deposited to the tokens contract are non-recoverable. This is a big point. So yeah. As soon as you deposit the tokens, we can't refund, refund them to you because we basically don't have access to this contract. The preset contract I will show you later, we don't have access. Nobody has access. It's a renounced contract. Nobody has access to these tokens. So how should anybody give you their tokens back? Since there's no way, no access, they are just burned on the wallet. So nobody has access, they are burned. So, I understand fees paid to the lounges are non recoverable. This is basically the same, just for the native fees we're gonna pay. And then I have to understand that I finalized my sale within the 48 hours of hitting the hard cap. So, as soon as you hit the hard cap, everybody can finalize your pre sale or more or less cancel it within 48 hours. This means you got time 48 hours after you hit your hard cap or your timer run out to finalize the pre sale by your own and to list it basically. This is actually a security reason because we got many presets doing this, doing a lot of long presets or not wanting to finalize it and the community is going rage. So you got 48 hours and then you got to list it or you got to cancel it. This doesn't matter anymore, but cancel will refund all the BMBs or Ethereum contributed and your tokens are gone. So basically, better you finalize. Um, then the rest is basic stuff. So. I don't know. So we confirm this, <clears throat> and actually we got now the problem. We got already a preset made. If this is the case, we just can use our contract again. We just gonna have to transfer ownership. I won't show this now on this video, so I got just gonna make a break and make a new video. So just give me a second. So we are back, and we are back to create a preset. So we got this empty page now and we just got our contract here and the contract is actually the contract address we'll need and we placed in our contract address. We see now token name, token symbol, token dead symbols. This should be filled out otherwise you're pretty sure doing something wrong. This is not a contract if you don't see that. Then the next thing, the preset rate, soft cap, stuff cap, these are all the parametrics. For this actually I made a nice calculator for you with Excel and I already posted this link you can find with uh, hashtag calculator in our, one of our chats or I will also provide the link in here in the description so we basically also only have to fill out these few fields we already said 
Um, we're just going to check our maximum supply is 1000 tokens. So we're just going to paste in here total supply 1000. Next thing we're going to change is we're going to put the pre sale rate in. This is actually the rate we're going to sell our tokens for the native tokens. So for now, 300 tokens is it. So if you contribute one BNB, uh, one Ethereum, we're going to get 300 tokens in total. Next thing, the hot cap. This is the cap, cap, soft cap, hot cap. Should be quite easy to explain. Hot cap, hardest put, and soft cap, lowest put. And the listing price uh, will be the price which will be listed on Uniswap. This is the price we set. And actual listing percentage on PancakeSwap. So percentage of the uh, raise we have from these two BNB, we gonna add to the liquidity. Okay, we just use 90% now. And I'm just gonna put these numbers in here. After we check that it's working, you will actually see it uh, like this 97%. It's okay. It works. We have enough tokens. So 312, we're just gonna put it like this. Contribution limits 1, 2. And Uniswap liquidity is at 90%. We're just gonna fill this out as we have it here. Listing price is at 200. So Additional information, these informations you can always change. You can always change these afterwards, now, whatever, it, it doesn't matter. These are changeable. You can change these on the blockchain. The other data, the other data we just filled out, these are non-changeable. This means we can't change them after you submitted. This is pretty clear, is it? Okay. So we just see here now on the finalized tab, we will see you will need at least 972 tokens. So you're just gonna check again on our wallet. How much tokens do we have again? I don't remember. We have thousand tokens. So yeah, will be enough. Yeah, that's good. Fairly enough. Just make sure this is everything filled out and also the timings and stuff are right. Cause these things you can change. I repeat, you can change. So what we're gonna do is we're changing here. We made a minimum maximum timer. We lock it at 2.45 and we finish it one day later. And the liquidity lockup time is basically the liquidity. We just configured how long it's gonna be locked in the Excel locker. The liquidity is a pair. So you take our test token one, you take the Ethereum in this case, and you make token which is like co the combination of them. So they are like combined, they are like a pair. And we lock this pair. We don't lock your tokens, we don't lock the BNBs, we don't lock the Ethereum, we lock the pair, which is actually on the blockchain. This has nothing to do with our platform. We lock your LPs. We don't lock your tokens, we don't lock the BNBs or Ethereum or whatever. We lock the LPs, just to let you know. Good. So. Just gonna confirm this, we make our pre-sale, we pay for the fee, whichever the fee is. You actually can find up here, 0 0.01 now on the test net, the main net it's more. And yes, you can also actually see everything on the Excel. I made it so detailed, so if you still got questions, you, you just don't read. So yeah, it's basically everything here. And yes. So. As you can see, our preset got created. This is the overview we have. We got here many different cool things. We also got a shareable preset link. This is uh, like the front page of our sale. We got all the informations. I like the token address, which is our contract. We got the XMIN verified contract, the liquidity generator, and our preset starts in 10 minutes. So now we got the overview for all our customers. We can like it here, like. Or we can make a scam, hilarious, whatever. This is some emotion noise. So the next thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to whitelist our preza. This is the function I just explained to you before, which is like excluding addresses from the fee. If you have a custom contract, you're just gonna use your own exclude from fee function for these two addresses. Yes, it's actually written in here. You're gonna copy these, you're gonna write them on your contract. Write contract, exclude from fee, and you're gonna put them all there in. So for now, we simply got a liquidity generator from the XMint. We got an easy worry. We're just gonna press here the button, wise list my preser, and it's gonna do this automatically. So this is gonna run through now, and then we have to deposit the tokens. Deposit tokens you can do now before starting the preser, or you can do it actually after the preser starts. We will do this now from this video after the preset starts for a simple reason. Cause now you can actually 
you don't see the preset address. This preset address we have in here is hidden. So as long as nobody has this preset address, nobody can contribute to the preset. And it's like a good way to block bots or something or people who using automatic tools or whatever. You can just block them because they don't know where to send the tokens because it's not published, you know. If you give it out on your own to your friends or whatever, it's your own fault. Yeah, yeah, you know it. But for now, nobody can see the address and nobody will be able to see it till we deposit our tokens. So we're just going to make now a uh, 8 minutes break and then we'll come back to the depositing and I will see with you how it looks like if you don't deposit the tokens. So we are back and as you can see now, the timer ran out and Prisa started. We have now Prisa ends in one day if you don't feel that you can actually we can't do anything till this timer runs out so basically we're gonna contribute now on our own and we can't because the preset owner still needs to deposit preset tokens to this tail to start so basically this is a good did protection to protect yourself from bots and stuff because they don't have the preset address either nobody has it except you so you see the preset address is one actual so you're just gonna deposit the tokens now and the people will be able to contribute. Just gonna take a while again. And success. So you can see now, uh Jeff refresh just the page. You can contribute now. We're gonna contribute 600 to be to Ethereum from ourselves, and we're just gonna get the amount here, and we'll be happy. So, as you can see now, we contributed to, B to Ethereum and it's full because we reached the hard cap. Within reaching the hard cap, you, you skip the timer. You can skip the timer within reaching the hard cap, basically. And you can also check now as well on the manage panel, if you can see. You get now the new possibilities to call finalize or to cancel your sale. If you actually cancel it, your people will be able to call, uh, to withdraw the funds again. So the two Ethereum I just contributed, they these are I can claim back then. And the same thing you can do if you start here the cancel timer. This will cancel actually automatically within 48 hours. So in 48 hours. So this we all don't want now. We just want to finalize. Since we already whitelisted our addresses and our fees are probably at zero, we can call finalize since everything is okay. If you call finalize, um, basically all our tokens are getting sent to the uh, Uniswap liquidity pool, and as well the Ethereum we just collected is getting sent there. So and it succeeded so we basically got now here again our shareable pre-sale link your status ended your token is listed now on uniswap you can go now here and you can actually swap it uh just connect your wallet to the wallet and you're just going to select now your contract copy the contract address paste it in here uh, and you will find it import and we can swap to ethereum so we don't have any tokens on this wallet as it seems Ah, we have we have like 28 right now left and we can actually swap them swap anyway makes price impact if you can swap ah doesn't work this is probably because of the slippage yes so the next thing we're going to do is we enable the fees this is like enable the swap and liquify and yeah doing all the stuff we want like the settings we said before getting enabled now so success now the fees are enabled the contract is working everything is as it should and we can actually claim as well our tokens which we just bought and we can trade them now on Oniswap we first have to approve it to confirm here to 
this will probably nothing for your concern if you're only doing your own preserve. Um, so we confirm them and now we can swap them. Confirm and transactions of meat. So you can do the transaction and we could you still swap and stuff like a usual save contract. Yeah, see, getting your wrapped Ethereum back and everything works as it should. My tokens have been claimed as well, so as you can see on my wallet, count two. Uh, I just gotta add the, yeah, there it is, TT1, this is my tokens, and I already swapped some back. So, everything did it, you got your preset ready. As soon as your lock video unlocks in 365 days, you can withdraw it with this button. If you need the lock, you can actually check here, the X lock locker. This is actually the link you get your locker and you can actually go back to manage your preset as well so basically everything is connected everything works and i think this should be clear all your questions thanks for watching and enjoy your day off Goodbye.